Big game for Valdosta State this afternoon. The Blazers can clinch the Gulf South title with a win over West Florida. Gotta love this interest by the U.S. Army paratroopers. Uh, let's get to football, though. Blazers down 7-0 here. Ivory Durham to Leandre Gallimore. We are all tied up at 7 apiece. But the Argos offense red hot tonight. And a big reason why? This guy, David Durden. Watch this highlight reel grab. Odell beckham -esque. one handed leading to the Argos score. They'd be up 17 7 right before the half. Blazers going into their bag of tricks. Ball ends up somehow in the hands of Brian Sons. He tosses it to Durham in the end zone for six points. Blazers down just three 24 21. But the second half all Argos the second of back to back touchdowns here. Austin Reed delivers a bullet to Karan Ashley putting this one away 45 28 after that Blazers would get within 10, but they never get any closer 61 42 your final score. So the loss giving Valdosta State a share of that Gulf South title. Dom Tibbetts has more from Pensacola and what this loss means for this team. Allison, it was a battle of two of the best football teams in all of Division Two, number two versus number three, and a high-scoring affair that the Blazers were on the wrong side of Saturday night in Pensacola. They're a high-powered offense. They're really, really good. And, uh, you know, once they break serve a few times and they got the ability to pull away. And, you know, we, uh, we, we didn't play good. We dropped the punt down there. You know, we had the penalties. I hadn't seen the penalty count yet, but the penalty count was lopsided even at halftime. Pending what the selection committee decides in just a few short weeks, a rematch with West Florida or another Gulf South Conference foe, could be on the horizon. We, we, we always joke because you really got to win the Gulf South Conference twice in order to win a national championship. You know, so uh, yeah, we're, we're going to see whether it's it's West Georgia or West Florida. We know we're going to see one of those, but you know, we, we got to take care of business next week. We have no idea who we're going to play. If it's going to be one of those teams or somebody else, uh, we'll find out tomorrow at about five o'clock, I guess. But uh, you know, we, we got to do a great job preparing and moving forward and put this one behind us. Valdosta State now awaits their place in the national tournament and we'll have to see just how bad this loss to the third ranked team in the nation hurts them moving forward. But for now, reporting at the Blue Wahoo Stadium in Pensacola, Dom Tibbetts, ABC 27.